Hello everyone, my name is Asen Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss Fourier transform in which we discuss the problem of Fourier integral representation and using that we show the integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x plus lambda times sin lambda x divided by 1 plus lambda square with respect to lambda integration is equal to is equal to 0 when x is negative pi by 2 when x is equal to 0 pi e raised to minus x when x is positive. Now we here we consider the right hand side term is a f of x. Okay. Let f of x is equal to let f of x is equal to 0 when x is negative and pi e raised to minus x when x is positive. We ignore this term and we prove this prove this at a last of the problem. Okay, say equation number 1. Now the question is which transform we use here? We have the Three transform Fourier sine Fourier transform Fourier sine transform Fourier cosine transform and the C the left hand side both are the present cosine lambda x is present sine lambda x is present so we can't hear uh, cosine because sine is present we can't hear sine because cosine is present okay so here we use direct Fourier transform for it okay so by definition of by definition of Fourier transform Fourier transform Fourier transform capital F in bracket lambda okay otherwise it can be written as capital F F means operator Fourier operator operate on the F of x is equal to is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity F of x e raised to minus i lambda x with respect to x integration. Now substitute the value of f of x, f of x here, but the f of x divide into uh, two parts. Now accordingly we split the integration. It is capital F in bracket lambda is equal to the, the given function split into two parts, negative and positive. It can be written as minus infinity to zero f of x e raised to minus time i lambda x with respect to x and the second is 0 to infinity f of x e to the power minus i lambda x with respect to x integration. Now in between uh, negative part this is the negative range where the f of x is 0 the first part is 0 here the plus second part positive range in which the f of x is pi pi e raised to minus x e raised to minus x and uh, into e raised to minus i time lambda x with respect to x integration okay now capital f of lambda is equal to pi is constant integration 0 to infinity now here base is same addition of power now here in power uh, here we take minus sign is common okay and x is common so what is remaining here 1 uh, plus i time lambda and x is common uh, with respect to x integration and we know the integration of e raised to function is e raised to function divided by the derivative of the function okay is equal to uh, pi its integration is e raised to minus 1 plus i lambda x and divided by the uh, derivative of the power minus 1 plus i time lambda lambda and the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and limit 0 to infinity. Now put x is equal to infinity here when we substitute the upper limit upper limit then what happened there is a e raised to minus infinity e raised to minus infinity is 0 here upper limit is 0 minus lower limit lower limit put x is equal to 0 we know e raised to 0 is 1 that is 1 upon and this minus sign minus 1 plus i lambda okay that is minus minus plus that is pi in bracket 1 upon 
वन प्लस आई लैमरा ओके नाउ रिमूव द दिस इमेजरी नंबर फ्रॉम द डिनोमीटर फॉर दैट वी मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड इट्स कॉन्जुगेट दैट इज कैपिटल एफ ऑफ लैमरा पाई वन अपॉन वन प्लस आई लैमरा मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड इट्स कॉन्जुगेट द कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ दिस इज द ए प्लस आई वी its conjugate is a minus i that is 1 minus i time lambda 1 minus i time lambda and we know uh, a plus i b complex number and its conjugate a minus i b its resultant is a square plus b square okay so here denominator is a plus b and a minus a plus i b a minus i b the denominator we get Using the formula a square plus b square that is one plus lambda square in numerator one minus i lambda that is the f of lambda. Okay. Now this is the Fourier transform. Now the question is Fourier integral representation. So for that we use uh, here the its inverse formula. Hmm? So by definition of say equation number uh, two by Definition of Fourier Fourier inverse transform inverse transform small f of x is equal to is equal to one upon two pi minus infinity to plus infinity capital f of lambda e raised to i lambda x. With respect to lambda integration. Now substitute the value of f of lambda. That is one upon two pi minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, now here the pi. I am putting the value of the f of lambda in square bracket one minus i lambda divided by one plus lambda square into uh, this is the Euler function uh, e raised to i theta. Is cos theta plus i times sine theta. We want the this type of function. Uh, exponential is not there. Circular is there. So we write the exponential in terms of uh, circular. That is, we apply the Euler formula. That is, cos of lambda x plus i times sine of lambda x with respect to lambda integration. Okay, is equal to. Uh, Here pi will get cancelled. That is one upon two pi. One upon two pi. Now here the one plus lambda square is denominator. Okay, no problem. But in numerator there is a uh, a minus b and this is c a minus i b. Sorry, a minus i b and this is c plus i t. Okay, there are two complex number. We simplify this. Uh, Let's say it. Uh, minus infinity to plus infinity integration. Now one is multiplied here. The uh, throughout the denominator uh, is one plus lambda square. No problem. Hmm? One plus lambda square is denominator. First one is multiplied. Uh, that is cos lambda x plus i times sine lambda x. Okay. Now i lambda is multiplied here plus sorry minus i lambda is multiplied here minus i lambda cos lambda x. Now here this i and this i i into i i square the value of i square is minus one and this minus sign minus minus plus plus lambda times sine lambda x. Okay, and with respect to lambda integration. Now here uh, we write the separate real part and imaginary part. So it will be a uh, very convenient for us. So I am uh, writing the separate real and imaginary part in right hand side. So what is the real part here? This is the real term, and this is the real term, and the remaining are. Remaining two term imaginary term, okay. And also, we apply the linearity property of integration, and we separate the 
accordingly we separate the 1 plus lambda square denominator for real part and imaginary part okay that is capital f of lambda is equal to 1 upon 2 uh, minus infinity to plus infinity so first we write the real part denominator is same 1 plus lambda square okay d lambda now plus i time i time uh, minus infinity to plus infinity again here a denominator same 1 plus lambda square d lambda so what is real part let us see cos lambda x plus lambda time sin x cos lambda x plus lambda time sin lambda x okay what is imaginary part minus i time lambda cos and i time sin lambda first we write uh, sin lambda x minus lambda cos lambda x and let us verify again uh, plus i times sin lambda x right and minus i times lambda cos lambda x and i is common okay now we have the two terms and uh, both are as like minus a to a f of x and we know uh, just wait uh, we know that if there are integral minus a to a f of x with respect to x if the term uh, we know that suppose uh, we know minus a to a f of x with respect to x integration if this function in, uh, inside the integration minus a to a if uh, this is a even function then we write two times 0 to a f of x with respect to x if f of x is even and 0 if f of x is odd function. What is even and odd function? We put x is equal to we put x is equal to minus x. If we get the f of x that is the even function and if f of uh, minus x is equal to minus time f of x then odd function okay now now uh, we put x is equal to minus x in first and we know uh, cos minus theta is cos, uh, cos theta this is the even now both are the odd function odd into odd that is the even so first term is even now here the this is the odd function cosine is even but lambda actually uh, we put we put here lambda equal to minus lambda lambda equal to minus lambda this definition for x okay but here the lambda is here so here uh, when we put lambda equal to minus lambda we get the even function okay this is the even term and when we put lambda is equal to minus lambda, so we get the odd term. So definitely the second integral is zero by definition. Okay, so what is the remaining term? F of x, sorry, capital F of lambda is equal to one upon two and minus infinity to plus infinity can be written as two times zero to infinity cos lambda x plus lambda time sin lambda x divided by 1 plus lambda square t lambda and the second is 0 okay 2 to cancel uh, just wait uh, uh, this is not a f of lambda this is the f of x because this is the inverse form right this is the f of x okay here 2 is cancelled. Now I am writing the right hand side in left hand, left hand side. Uh, 0 to infinity cos lambda x plus lambda times sin lambda x divided by 
वन प्लस लैमडा स्क्वेर डी लैमडा एंड एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड वॉट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी कॉस लैमडा एक्स प्लस लैमडा टाइम साइन लैमडा एक्स डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस लैमडा स्क्वेर With respect to lambda integration, the f of x from equation one is zero when x is negative and pi e raised to minus x when x is positive. Okay, but the actual is what the question is using integral representation and show that this. So there are uh, three term in the right hand side for negative part, for positive part, and exactly at x equal to zero. What we get? Okay, so we find this value. What happened for x equal to zero? Uh, uh, say this is equation number two. We put exactly uh, here x equal to zero. Put x equal to zero. Put x is equal to zero. Then x is equal to zero means uh, f of zero is equal to Put x equal to zero. You can consider this term as this. Zero to infinity. Sine zero is zero, and uh, cosine zero is one. One plus lambda square d lambda is equal to is equal to the integration of one upon one plus lambda square is we know that is the uh, tan inverse lambda and limit zero to infinity. Put upper limit. Tan inverse infinity minus put lower limit tan inverse zero, and we know tan inverse infinity is pi by two and tan inverse zero is zero. So we get at exactly x equal to zero, uh, the value of the function f of zero is pi by two. Okay, so equation two it can be written as zero to infinity cos lambda x. Plus lambda times sine lambda x divided by one plus lambda square with respect to lambda integration zero when x is negative and exactly at x equal to zero what we get we get pi by two and pi e raised to minus x when x is positive okay which is required result thank you.